Well, hi everybody. Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art and welcome to Learn at the Little House. So today's uh, video is uh, an introduction into a new project that I am going to be doing and uh, sharing with you throughout the month. And the project is on rusting. And I already did a, um, a video well, it was a very impromptu video, I have to admit. I decided to rust some fabric one day and just ran outside and started the process and thought, let me turn the camera on. Well, I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful and organized about how I show up for you. And so I decided to do this series on rusting. Anyway, the first part of the series is going to be me showing you how to prepare uh, surfaces so that you can rust let's start with paper to any of that I want to tell you that this is not my original idea I was surfing around on the internet and I came across um, something on Pinterest and I will put the link to that in the description box below but I thought, you know, we would experiment together on the concept of the idea that I saw. And so that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to prepare surfaces that we're going to be able to use going forward whenever you want to rust dye some paper or something else, some fabric maybe. And it's going to be really fun. I've been working on it a little bit um, on the side and it's, it's quite... It's quite interesting. So that's going to be the first part. We're going to talk about supplies. We're going to, um, to obviously, we're going to work through the process together. And then ultimately, we are going to do a project with our rusty goodness. Uh, let's get started on the uh, first, very first section of it, which is uh, supplies and preparing the surface. I'll meet you outside. Okay, we're outside. Are you ready to have some fun? I have um, an apron on. I'm wearing um, an apron to keep my clothes from getting all disgusting. And I have all the supplies out here. So what you're going to need for this project is a um, some kind of plastic coating thing, like a plastic tablecloth, or I'm using a contractor's garbage bag. It is on my surface to protect it. Baking dishes. And I got mine at the Dollar Tree. And they were a dollar a piece. And you want to look for heavyweight steel bakeware. And these are 13 inches by 9 inches. So they will hold um, a piece of paper perfectly. I got six of them because I'm going to try three different techniques. I'm going to use two pans for each one. This this lovely disgusting item I picked up at the flea market the other day and it already looks like it's a little rusty but it's full of disgusting funk and I did wash it but if it rusts it'll be awesome because you see the holes it'll be like a stencil so I thought I'm just going to add that to the mix. You need some salt. I'm going to use kosha. You need peroxide and vinegar, and I'm using them full strength. You need some sandpaper and or some steel wool and a rag for your hands. So what I, what I already did off camera is I took the sandpaper and I roughed up the surface. I don't know if that's 100% necessary or not, but I just decided to do it just because. So I did that to all six sheets. This is number one. I dip this in water so it's just wet. Number two is um, vinegar. I sprayed the vinegar on and then I sprinkled the kosher salt. And number three, I put peroxide on it. Now it would be perfect if it was sunny out, but it's not. <laughs> and I wanted to get this started anyway. So I'm going to leave this for an hour and then we're going to come back and check on it to see what is happening with it. All right, so see you in an hour. All right, guys, we're outside, and I'm standing against my house because it's raining out, and we're going to walk over to the table in a moment, but 
but I didn't really want to get my camera too wet. All right, I wanted to give you a close-up view. You can see that there's a little bit of rust here, and it might be because I sanded it. Actually, I would swear it's because I sanded it because I can see it. It's on the scrape marks. All right, so that's the water, and this is the uh, kosher salt with the vinegar, and I don't see a whole lot. You see it's very light. I don't know if you can even see that. Very lightly um, carameling, and here a little bit. Don't look at that one. Uh, very little caramel color right there which surprises me. I thought the vinegar would have more. This is the peroxide, okay? And the peroxide is doing like amazing things. I stacked them. There's two together, two together, two together. And we're just going to leave them until tomorrow. See you later. Hi everybody. Um, it's Jerry. It's been 24 hours since we uh, left the pans since we started the pans and I um, unstacked them and they were uh, wet from the rain it rained all day yesterday so I poured off the water from the rain and I made sure that they were wet again and I applied some more salt to the vinegar uh, one which is here and more vinegar and I did that about an hour ago and I've just come back out to check on them again and they are dry again so you have to check on them every so often and make sure that they stay moist interesting how this this one was on the bottom these pans were on the bottom when I stacked them yesterday so I just put that one on top of that one that one on top of that one and interesting how this one is like that <laughs> and that one's all splotchy and I'm really kind of curious about the vinegar they haven't really done anything and this is just water so uh, I'm gonna leave them again for another 24 hours and see what happens and the um, one with the holes is rusting very nicely I'm very pleased about that so we'll see you again tomorrow Wait. I am very disappointed in the vinegar pans, especially that one. Um, th that's just water. I'm trying to figure out why it's not um, rusting like these are. So what I decided to do was sprinkle a little water in with the vinegar in these two pans and um, see what happens. And it's the definite heat of the day right now so I'm having to come out and make sure that these um, don't don't dry out all right we are back in my art room and I just wanted to tell you that I feel like I'm watching my toenails grow out there and I decided to up the game a little bit I'm a very impatient person so when I did my dyeing my rust dyeing for the fabric last week I still had all the steel wool left that I had put in the pan to um, get the pan rusty to dye the fabric and I had it in a plastic bucket so it's really some seriously rusty steel wool so I decided to sprinkle it on the vinegar pan and I also put some of my uh, rusty pieces of metal on there too and wet it again with some vinegar and I did splash some water on it. So I'm going to give you a quick uh, view of that and then I am going to just leave it until tomorrow and see what happens. Okay so you can see what I did. I just put some uh, of the rusty bits of steel wool that I had left over and I just put it in this one pan and we're going to see what happens. I'm just going to leave it now. I'm going to walk away. Jer, walk away. Sorry. Day three. I'm going to clean the stuff out of that pan and I will be right back. Alrighty. I removed the pieces of steel wool and the rusty bits and I rinsed it off and you can see it really doesn't look much different than the one over here. So what I'm going to do now is um, just leave them out, keep wetting them, and at the end of the day I'm going to stack all six, all seven of them. I'm going to stack all seven of them. And I'm just going to keep leaving them out here. 
Uh, I think this is going to be like a week-long process and I'm not going to bore you with it every day. At this point I'm going to come back uh, when they are rusty and then I will tell you how long it took. Okie doke. See you in a couple days. Well good morning everyone. It is now a week later and I am outside at the little house on the patio and I'm about to show you what the rusting pans look like at this point. So let's go look at those right now. I bet you can't wait. <laughs> okay everybody, I have to laugh because I think my neighbor's watching me. Okay, <laughs> sidebar. All right, so here's the rusted pans and honestly um, the vinegar really was a disappointment. That's the ones in the middle and I would say, have to say that the rest of them, they all look pretty rusty to me. And so I, going forward, I would just use water and call it a day. So that's what I learned from this experiment. And look at this lovely goodness. Oh, I cannot wait to play with this. Okay, so that's what's going to happen in the next video. We're going to do a project with our rusted pans. And so I hope you enjoyed this experiment and I hope you might uh, give it a try. If you do, just remember to be careful. It is rust. You might want to get a tetanus shot um, and you might want to be very careful. Wear gloves, keep a rag handy all the time, and definitely use uh, some plastic on your surface. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day full of love and recycled art, and I will see you in the next video.